is to put our single crochet border on. So that's this right here, the single crochet border. And so to do that, it says to join your um, yarn, the round five says to join with the slip stitch in the first double crochet of any five double crochet uh, loop or set. So it's telling me that I can join, that it wants me to join my yarn into the first of the five. So if you look here, and I counted like on this particular uh, section right here, and I counted, it'd be one, two, three, four, five. So right here, right there is where I need to join my yarn because I'm joining in my yarn the new color just by grabbing my new color and pulling it through to the front, holding the, the working yarn in my left hand, and, and then you've got that tail at the, the tail at the back, and you can just sort of hold that with your fingers. And then I just, like I remember, like I said, I just sort of pull that through uh, as a chain, and that sort of like locks the stitch in so that you can get ready to go with your row and your next instructions. And so then, now what it says is to um, chain one, so I'm just going to chain one. We'll snug that up at the back a little bit. And after the chain one, it says to single crochet in the same stitch. So I'm going to just go under that same top of that first double crochet of that uh, sort of petal and do a single crochet. And then it tells me to uh, single crochet in the next stitch. So that, that one's right there. And then the next one, which is at the top of that uh, five group, it wants me to do two single crochets. So I'm going to do two single or two single crochets in that same top loop. And then it wants me to come down next after that and do uh, another single crochet in the next uh, section, and then another single crochet in that next one. So I've done two single crochets. Uh, single crochet, single crochet, and then two single crochets in the same uh, stitch, and then another single crochet, single crochet. And then what it wants me to do is it wants me to slip stitch in between the petals. And that's just to make it more crisp looking so that um, you can really see that definition and going down in, in the middle. So what you do is you just you see that little slip stitch down there. See, if, if you look on this next one here, one, two, three, four, five. Those are that, those five. But there's a stitch right here in the middle. And so that's where we're going to slip stitch. And the slip stitch, you just go in, pull the yarn through, and then pull it through again uh, of the loop on the hook. So that we've, we've really uh, accentuated that in on the pedal so that it looks real neat. And then we're just going to continue to do this all the way around. And all you're doing is you're single crocheting in each petal, or the top of each uh, double crochet, so that's two, one single crochet, one single crochet, but it wants you to, in that middle one, it wants you to do two. That's the way the pattern reads. So you'll do two in the top of that, and then do another single, another single, and then that's when your slip stitch is going to come in right there in the middle, so it's not like, you, it, I mean, it's really easy to remember. You don't even really have to look at your pattern once you know what you're supposed to be doing. And I've done two single crochets, so now I've got to do two in the same one, because that's at the top of the petal. And then go ahead and do another single, another single, because I'm going down. And then I have to finish it with a single crochet down here. And um, so to do to finish that, you just squish the uh, squish it in your work and pull up a loop, but then pull it also through that that next one, like like so. And then just continue all the way around doing the same thing. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So I know that this is where I need to go for my, my first. And sometimes it's a little hard to see, but just, you know, turn your work uh, so you can see where your, your stitches are. And that's supposed to be a single. And then that one's supposed to be a single. And then uh, in the top of that one, I'm supposed to do two two single crochets, just like so. And then I just continue like that all the way around, and 
because I'd have finished that scallop, I would do a single crochet, single crochet, and a slip. And then you just continue that all the way around. And what you end up with is this. And that's your um, your pedal coaster. And then just run under your, and it actually looks pretty from the back too, but just run under your um, your yarn ends with a tapestry a uh, little tapestry needle uh, like this. And just take your ends and just run those under. And then you have your little springtime coaster. Make a set of four or six of those and tie a real pretty ribbon around it. Makes a nice.